Hey, Danny. Hello. We're live. <laughs> what else do we have here? We have two fellow Jitsers. I think one of them is Lindsay, but I'm not sure. Who else do we have? A lurker. <laughs> okay. Um, I would say let's start. So for the people who would um, just join for the first time or for people who are uh, watching the live stream after this, you can find the notes of the meeting just through GitHub issues uh, via github.com slash give it slash communications, uh, communication. And uh, with the Zen Hub extension, you can see all of them uh, in detail. So um, the, um, let's start with check-in. So um, my intention is to have a, a very quick and efficient meeting uh, because quite some things happened in the pre past week um, with Kivit, so it was a bit of a distraction. So I have ha have done less work than I intended to do, unfortunately. So I want to get back to doing that work. Um, and distraction is just um, adding some notes in specific issues, and I give it to Kai. Hey guys, uh, nice to be here. Uh, yeah, uh, let's see the issues, Danny. Yeah, I'm here. No distractions. We're ready to get engaged. Uh, Lindsay? I think Lindsay oh. left accidentally. Um, but I'll oh. check in. This is Lorelai. Hi. Um, yeah, we're just over here trying to stay awake. Just got uh -huh. to Barcelona. And it's been probably like 30, 35 hours awake now. <laughs> And uh, yeah, Griff. Yeah, yeah, just uh, staying awake, making it to the next time to this time zone for the next month. So, uh, trying to get off on the right foot and pretty stoked to catch up on the comms. We got some cool changes and fun things. So, uh, who else needs to go? I think. Unless Lindsay. Was. Oh, Chris, you're muted. Okay, yeah, we have we have someone else who just joined. So we were just doing check in. I don't know if it's Lindsay or someone else. It's by phone. Interesting. Hi, who just joined us? Hi, this is Jonathan who just joined. Hi, Jonathan. Yeah, so we're, um, thanks for joining. Um, we were just gonna go through some, we just checked in, so what our intentions are for the meeting and if any distractions, so go ahead. So the idea is just to say what you, why, why you're joining this meeting and uh, if you're distracted by anything. So I may be interested in, in boarding a project, so I just wanted to check the status of the app and what is going on. <laughs> Okay, cool. Yeah. So this is our comps meeting. Um, and if you want to, um, so we have Danny here who's helping with onboarding. So she's definitely the person you want to talk to. So um, you can you can maybe sync with her then on this. Um, so are there any specific issues right now that people have on top of their mind that they want to like talk about that are on the, um, that are on GitHub? Um, so just the events, I guess, just the rundown mm -hmm. of the events coming up. Yep. And, uh, I think it's important to mention Danny as reward DAO, uh, lead and all that. Check in there. Uh, Kai's here, right? 
an update, yeah. an update of the website and the t-shirts, definitely. Uh, yeah, so maybe uh, let's start with events. So we have our um, hackerspace event. Griff, if you want to say a few words about that one. Yeah, so events. Uh, Berlin, well, yeah, so we're doing this Berlin node. We have a awesome document that you should all fill out if you're going to come to Berlin uh, to talk about which events you might want to participate in. But basically, it's a cool little hackerspace where we're going to talk about decentralizing all the things. It's called Decentralize Now. And uh, we'll have very active participation with the, with the crowd and a lot of interaction. That's kind of the goal. It's, from, it's in Berlin, October 22nd to the 24th. And we will be, uh, be right before the Stahats Hackathon. And so logistically, we'll probably uh, catch the 130 train from Berlin to Prague after the event. And I'll meet at the Stahats Hackathon. Uh, but the main thing is just if you guys are coming to fill out the form, talk about the uh, so that we can really set the schedule. And uh, Chris, Linz, and I are kind of the main organizers for this. Yep, and so if you want to, um, if you want to speak at the event, um, I'll just link it in here. If you want to be one of the people who want to like organize a little node within our node and talk about things, um, yeah. and then maybe a next one that is then deep, lots to talk about now is the status hackathon. So Griff, you're a, a judge there, and so is um, Voitech, and that's um, that's it, right? Yep, that I know of, for sure. Kai, you're not a judge, right? Oh, come on, guys. This is ridiculous. Are you? <laughs> I'm a participant. I cannot be a yeah, participant right. in the team yeah. when it's you and Wojtek as a judge. Well, you're going to get, get lots of good votes, Kai. I'm biased. <laughs> Where, what are you going to work on, Kai? Um, it's a surprise. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want to influence the judges. You're right. No, we have we have many things to talk about. I I, I like to talk about it, but uh, yeah, it's still in development. Okay. Exciting. Yes. Um, for um, then DefCon itself. So I think most of the people who want to go now have um, have tickets. We don't have um, a speaking oppor presentation opportunity. Uh, unfortunately, but we will have some new t-shirts, which Kai is working on. So maybe we can jump to that one. Kai, so you can give an update on the shirts maybe? Yeah, I have it open here. I want to uh, give a summary also here. Um, so we uh, decided on design, right, in uh, the Girls Design Channel. And uh, Liddy did a great job uh, with the, the Graphic and um, so now we only have to order the shirts. Um, we're in the process of ordering them uh, right now. I heard from the um, printer facilitator today. Uh, so we will get if everybody's okay with that uh, around fifteen bucks per shirt. Bamboo shirts. Um, I have yeah. one or two. They're very good and they they're very fair and um, whatnot. Yeah, uh, 150, sound okay? That's How many did we have last time? I'm not sure we did, got delivered in the end. Um, I tried to find the numbers, but... I thought yeah. it was like 300 or 400, no? So many? Um, I, th I think that's how many we got last time. At least 250 for sure. Well, for this time? Oh, no. For last time. For no. I think 150 are okay, or like that's why I'm asking this loud in the like. Yeah, I think I think that should be okay. Uh, do we get any where do we get a bulk discount at a certain number or not really? Um, I have to check, but I think not really. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. I I I would throw down. Let's see, 15 times 150. What do we get? Ah, that's not that's the shirt. I think like printed is like probably like nineteen or something. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, so I don't know the, the price per shirt yet, but that's just the shirts itself. Like the, uh, okay, but, so they're more expensive than the ones we got last time. We could go for the cheaper ones. That's why I'm asking, but like they are the best, uh, the most wearable shirts. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm I'm down. Uh, this will be like a collector's item, so that sounds fun. I mean, I'd be cool with 200 shirts personally. I, there's going to be 4,000 people there. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. So um, I'm having a call with him later today, and uh, we'll talk about this. Yeah. So, and on which budget are we going to put the shirts? Uh, we'll put it in the gov department. Yeah. Well, wherever it goes, I'll donate to the to the swag. Oh. Cool. Yeah, it can go on comms. It can go on comms, but there's not a lot of money left anywhere, so uh, <laughs> it doesn't no. really matter. Yeah, I can I can donate to it in comms. Okay, cool. Thanks. Good. Uh, okay. Who's actually gonna put on a credit card though? Uh, Kai, is that possible for you to? Uh, oh yeah, but I think uh, no. It's um, you have someone who receives ether, right? Yeah, we can give them ether directly. Oh yeah, that's the best. Yep. Okay, cool. So yeah, then uh, I can you give me the address, and I'll send the ether, and then I'll deal with the DAP. Unless he's really weird and wants to deal with our DAP. Uh, yeah, I didn't think so. I'll, uh, yeah, just give me the give me the address, and I'll send the ether. Yeah. I mean, cool. yeah. After we get the bill, uh, you will get. Uh, I mean, we can do it in the in the dab as well. We just have to make him the uh, recipient. Yeah, I mean that would that would be cool. And buy the milestone, and you know, make the recipient his address. Yeah. yeah as long we'll as, as long as he's down with the exchange delay, that we freeze the exchange rate, and that uh, he gets paid like four or five days later. That's yeah. the only part that's a little dicey. I don't. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about this too. But he yeah. should, I think he's okay. Okay, that's cool. Well, hopefully he makes money off of it. If he loses money, it always gets hard, you know. Well, it's his third print job for us, so mm -hmm. yeah, that's why I was laughing about this shirt run because it's fluctuating so much, and he is actually like dollar cost averaging uh, Ethereum kind of. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, he <laughs> is pretty much. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, like one year ago. Even like Burning Man, you know, last year it's the so it's the fourth. No, it's the third run. We did the last DEFCON run with a different one. Oh yeah, that's right. All right. Then um, so that's about it for events. You're gonna speak at an event coming up. In yeah, there's more? yeah, yeah. There's one more event. It's uh, on Saturday, I think. I'm speaking at. Uh, and it should be. I think it's live streamed. I don't have any of these details yet, but I don't like. I don't know where or how exactly. So, uh, but once I know, I'll make a tweet. And uh, Alan cool. is uh, with the uh, Prezi, and so I should have a good talk. What's the name of the event? It's uh, FNX is uh, Governance Summit. Summit. Cool. Yeah. Be recorded and live streamed on on their social media. So you can say go to FNX.com. I mean, like on their social media. I don't know if it's on their if they're going to Periscope or if it's a Facebook or YouTube or what. I'm not sure. Yeah. Well, if you are, uh, just um, indeed, as soon as you have details, just tweet about it and ping me or just tag give it and then and then I'll retweet, of course. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, so Alan is making a presentation. I saw that one. Great. So I think for events, that's it, right? And then, um, Kai, your, um, yeah, then the next one you mentioned, which is indeed important one, is website. And I think you said, Kai, that there's going to be a call on this after this call. Yes, there will be a call with the, uh, that was announced in the sign team. Let's see who joins. Um, so, so we will talk about uh, what our thoughts are. Like, there, I made a mock-up or part of a mock-up. 
and a strategy. And I, I think Amy has something to present or talk about. And um, yeah, there was Dani wanted to give some feedback on the like the onboarding section of the homepage. There will be lots of stuff to talk about <laughs> at the, this next meeting. So I don't want to. Uh, there have been no no crazy results right now. Uh, yeah, but we're working on it. Okay. Um, and did you see that Peter Pan put a bounty on it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's great. Actually, while we're on the topic, I'm topic. I'm sorry to go back to the shirts. Like, uh, this is one of the things like where I'm always baffled. Like, uh, how to pay Lydia for the graphics, or should we just give her points? But you know, like it's a really professional job. I'm not sure. I think we should do both points and some ether. Yeah, I will ask her onto the depth. Then I guess. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you want to dish her points, uh, or I don't know, uh, Chris, you can dish her some points. I guess it's a comp thing, probably. Yeah, you already dished her actually comp points, which is great. Oh, I did. oh good. So she already received some, but yeah, it's difficult at this point to 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 have an idea how much these are going to be worth. Quite a lot, I think, because not a pe lot of people are dishing points right now. So that's good for the value of the comp points. So yeah. I mean, uh, I think we should probably dish her again for the finalized design, although, which I haven't even seen, honestly. And then um, maybe also just make like a, a special milestone with the picture there and be like, you know, and put and see what we can raise for her. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the finalized design is just, I think it's the one that she shared, right, Guy? Or has it still changed since? She did increase on the line weight a little after I said it's, it might be a little too thin drawn. But so he, she she did some more touch ups there. But it's pretty much the the, the um, this big uh, piece with the unicorn and the galaxy and uh, yeah, okay. yeah. That's not exactly what I, I did not even know I wanted this. I did, I knew, but I did not know. No. <laughs> It's just, it's just magical. That's why it's like a, definitely 200 shirts. I'm, I'm curious to see how it works out with the lines for sure and on the shirt, but it's such a gorgeous shirt. Yeah. And you were checking to put like, just give it IO um, somewhere small in the back, right? Yeah. I would just put give it IO. By the way, this is a real hard problem for me, like as much as I'm designing, or like every time I'm designing for Giveth, it's almost impossible to put the logo in context with the type logo in a way that looks balanced or good, you know? Like it's just, just this double G thing is a bit concerning. So if yeah. you wanna go there, just put giveth.io there. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I think maybe just giveth.io is enough and, and yeah. Yeah, but you were checking for the cost for that one, right? Where to put it? Yeah, uh, if it's very expensive, we just put it in the front, I think, in the, somewhere on the bottom corner. Yeah. Are we gonna have, we gonna have the word galaxy in there with Gibbeth? Yeah. Yeah, but, well, galaxy is not really part of our branding right now. We just use it as a concept for mm -hmm. the universe that we work in. Mm -hmm. um, but we we don't really use the word galaxy on. Well, we haven't used it a lot. So personally, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I would prefer having it as the galaxy that we work in rather than a brand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's one thing I can give away from the website talk later. Like just being galaxy like is probably better than to yeah. It should, it could it can be called a galaxy, but we should not be too you know official with it because we have very otherwise we have too many give it some things. Yeah, people get confused. <laughs> it's already difficult for people to grasp what give it is. So how I, I always explain it is is that we are the give it DAC and all the projects that we work on, the DAP, uh, social coding, all these things are different circles. This and this thing is the galaxy. Um, but it's not, but the brand is just give it, I would say, mm -hmm. to keep it understandable for people. So the DAC is the galaxy? 
Mm, well, no, the, the projects that we work on, um, the entire space of the things that we work on is the galaxy, but the DAC is actually the community. It's the people working on all these projects. Mm -hmm. So the DAC is like floating through the galaxy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, so yes. Oh yeah. And do you think, uh, Kai? Did you get any? Do you think it's good? We'll have them f uh, ready in time for Berlin because that would really be nice. Because that's the only time we actually have a, a moment to like hand them out and give them to people. Um, can you remind me of the starting dates or hard date again? The twenty second is the first day. Yep. Yeah. We. We, if that doesn't work, we can probably do it at the status hackathon too. I and, mean, that, yeah. Yeah, and I don't know that we'll be handing it out. If we only have 200, we can't just be handing them out to No, of course not. We'll have to have like a targeted thing and just be like, hey, do you want this shirt? You have to work for it. Yeah. And it'll probably be to like movers and shakers kind of people. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, if we only have 200, I mean, that's kind of how it's got to be. Like, obviously, all the givethers need, need a shirt. And then, so then we're down to, like, uh, you know, probably that's, like, 30 people. To be honest, I think, like, you're right. Uh, and in that sense, I would actually just wait for DEF CON. Otherwise, it's, like, you know, it's kind of nice to have, like, this first day where everybody gets out the gear. And I, I just think it's very cool looking, so it will trump. <laughs> many other like we will have the best shirts yeah yeah, yeah. It's true. but yeah. just especially for that people are going to DAFCON afterwards but a moment to actually engage with these builders yeah we have some people who will be at status but are it's an it's an extra way to just get yeah you know to reward people who actively participate in our hacker node discussions Yes, that's true, but also at DEF CON we don't have like a stand or something, as far mm -hmm. as I know. So uh, it would be interesting to talk about if we organize something on the sidelines, you know, because this could be a very good. TV. Yeah, no, there, there's a Halloween party. Yeah. Um, and so maybe maybe anyone who doesn't have a uh, uh, Halloween costume, we can give them the shirt. <laughs> yeah, but you see, that's more giving it out to. Random people who want to party and oh. less to like the actual build biddlers. De definitely the builders, not not random. I shouldn't say random people, but any anybody who's cool that we know is awesome and or has helped give it in any way. Yeah, so I I thought more like breakout sessions if we have any. I mean, we don't we don't? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there is a status has like a secondary conference going where they're live streaming streaming all of DevCon, at uh, and there's also the Eth Magicians uh, Council of Prague. So yeah, that sounds. I mean, that sounds great. Like uh, because I just know how we operate. Like even like last time at EthCon, we did the, we didn't open block explorers. So if you if you start this decentralization now thing at uh, Berlin, you know, I think you might want to carry it over to DEF CON to increase the, you know, buzz, people talking about it, participants. Uh, it, it wouldn't surprise me if for some reason we end up with a room and we do something, like that happens, so. Yeah. I, I think, I, I think if, if it's done by Prague, by Berlin, then that's cool. But also, like, how are we getting it? Logistical stuff. Like, I I'm cool with however it works, Kai. Sure. I mean, we can send it. They will be ready for sure. By uh, I mean, it looks like now it looks like they would be ready for sure. So there's plenty of time. Um, but it's easier to carry them to Prague. Yeah, because I will have a car. I go by car. Yeah, let's just do that, man. Let's keep it easy. Not try to be stressful on any of this because, you know, there's not that many shirts. We won't have any. It's not like we'll we'll have we'll have more people to give them to than shirts. <laughs> okay, next topic. <laughs> I think we have some other things. Right? Okay, um, so for reward now, so Danny is gonna uh, take over for this. 
Um, we just discussed in the previous meeting a little bit about this as well. So we first, it would be cool to have everyone on board to also keep on dishing points. So Griff was going to um, check with Yaler uh, on this directly. Um, and um, yeah, so Danny, I don't know. So how, how would you like to uh, proceed with reward now? I'll just give you the word. Okay, well, um, I'm meeting with Lindsay. Lindsay, hopefully you got my text. I was thinking tomorrow, either before or after the governance meeting would work really well. And um, Griff and I talked about, my, you know, from my perspective, taking this on, this is like that first point of contact. So I really want to kind of check in with all of you, especially the circle leads, and kind of like let's talk about what are some of these issues that are out there that we want some help with. Um, if you help me understand what you need. I can help people who are coming in understand how to plug in. I kind of did that with some the fellow Eli who was at the Blockchain Seattle and wrote up a blog and wanted to write. So I pointed him to the GitHub and said, here's one I know of. The more I know about, the more I can help match people uh, to the work. And then I'm also, I have some podcasts that are coming out this week that are going to be going out to a lot of different audiences. So 